Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another live stream Tuesday, but not like any other live stream Tuesday because this is a premiere and I'm hoping that I have set it up correctly this time because the plan is for us to have the live stream like I'm doing now, but recording it a little bit earlier and I am planning on, fingers crossed, being in the live chat room with you guys and it should be either underneath this video or to the side of the video, something like that. So we'll see how it works throughout this live stream. It's going to be entirely random. I have set up things, or at least I, th I think I've set up things as I normally do, but whether it's going to work or not I do not know. I think actually at the beginning the screen cut into the video or the video didn't come on straight away so yeah it wasn't a particularly smooth start but we'll see how things get on and thank you to you guys for tuning in if indeed you have tuned in to see tonight's live stream which is a slightly delayed live stream as you guys will know the first time I attempted this 
I accidentally uploaded the stream as a video. So it's like what, an hour and 15 minutes or an hour and 20 minutes worth of video. And then everybody commenting had to literally do a comment underneath. There wasn't a live chat room. So hopefully that's going to be rectified tonight. So we can just use this as our experiment for the premiere and see how it gets on. And if I am in that live chat room, I'll be typing away and I'll say hello to everybody and hello to you guys on this Tuesday night. And let's get everything up on screen as we normally do, but we can't have the live chat room because that's at the side of the screen at the moment. So we're going to be looking at the patrons going across the bottom of the screen and always it takes maybe a couple of clicks or a few clicks for it to go in the right order. Four clicks for tonight. So fourth time lucky. I'm just going to leave it and hopefully it starts with sponsored by the Wings of Pegasus patrons because they make this all possible. You will see the names at the bottom at some point. And here we go. There they go. Excellent. So massive thank you to you guys over on Patreon for not only your support, but for giving me songs and suggestions for you know, things to do with this live stream. The plan is that we're going to have a pick roulette later tonight because Carla has kindly sent me the wheel early so that we can still do it and have a winner. And I'm going to pick a top tip just at random and it just means that it's pretty much going to be a normal live stream Tuesday. But, uh, you know, I'm recording this a little bit earlier in the day. The other thing that I have done, which is really going to confuse me for the rest of the night, is it's currently seven minutes past midnight um, on the screen. And I've changed the clock on my system so that even though I'm recording it a little bit early, it still says the correct time, or at least it should be the correct time when this all goes live and goes out there. So uh, we will see how that works. Right. I have mentioned about my patrons at the bottom of the screen and... I don't really mention Patreon too much. I did have that interview, which I mentioned on Saturday as well with Sussex University about Patreon and, you know, my career, everything that I do musically, uh, which was great to have a chat with them and help them out with their paper that they're writing on. I think it's musicians and independent artists, all that kind of stuff, but also being in touch with your community and things that we do here on YouTube, but especially over on Patreon, because that's where I am every night. And if you guys want to send me a, a direct message, that's uh, where you can contact me. But just in case you need it, there is the site of patreon.com forward slash wings of Pegasus. So yeah, if you want to head over there to get involved on a deeper level than you can do. But as I always say, just watching the channel, hitting the thumbs up, leaving a comment, that's great. So thank you guys for doing that as well. Now, I know that, you know, most likely it's not going to happen. And I always say you don't have to donate. And because I'm recording this a little bit earlier, it means that I can't give a shout out or reference the donations that come in if any do but you don't have to donate just watching is fine but i know that some of you out there can't resist a donation so i'm going to get the donations tab up on screen just in case something does happen by accident so there you go between 35 and 45 percent goes to youtube and that's through the super chat window and i don't know whether on a premiere that's even an option or not so just so you know that between 3 and 5% goes to PayPal through the PayPal link. And this should still have a description at the bottom of the video or underneath the video. So you should be able to find the PayPal donations link there, as well as a link to the merchandise, which is, again, something that I don't mention a lot. But here we go. Let's have a plug of the mug at the beginning of tonight's live stream premiere. And if you want to get your hands on the wings of Pegasus mug, any of the merchandise, the zipped hoodie, then you can do, as I'm modeling tonight, you can do just click on that link and it'll take you through to the spring.com store. You can also click on the tray underneath this video if there is indeed a tray. And you might have noticed I've got a Star Wars t-shirt on tonight purely because 
I found it <laughs> at the bottom, actually it wasn't even at the bottom, it's kind of midway through the pile of t-shirts that I have, and I thought, have I actually worn this before? I might have worn it once or twice, but I couldn't remember, because I've got so many t-shirts that some of them never see the light of day. But we've gone for Star Wars tonight, but of course the wings of Pegasus hoodie over the top. Right, with tonight's live stream premiere, we are going to be aiming for... 320 likes so everything is going as normal for a live stream and if we do hit that target it means that next Tuesday we're going to have the pick roulette as we normally do so I'm looking at you guys in the live chat room if you can hit a thumbs up that would be much appreciated because it will help us get to that goal and it just helps the channel to grow and for these streams and this premiere to get out there a little bit more. So uh, we will see where we end up by the end of the live stream and this is another thing that we'll just have to see how we go <laughs> on Tuesday night and keep an eye on however many likes are at the bottom of the screen because if we do hit 320 then as soon as that number is hit even if we hit the number and then it goes down again and somebody does a double click and it goes to 319 that still counts so if we hit the target at any point in tonight's live stream premiere then we're going to open the entries for next week's pick roulette so in order to do that you have to type at Carla Murray so make sure that you tag Carla in your comment and then type I agree uh, sometimes in capital letters it doesn't really matter but as soon as that target is hit if it is hit then uh, yeah entries will be open and if, if this is your first live stream or live stream premiere it is the first premiere of this type then you can just copy what everybody's going to be doing in the live chat room. But fingers crossed that we will make it to tonight's likes goal. And I'm looking at that on the screen. Do my eyes deceive me or does it say goal with two L's? I believe it does. So let's correct that. So um, that's just my fault for not being able to type correctly. I was so focused on getting the time to the right time that obviously typing in pick roulette likes goal, I managed to mess that up. But this is the thing about being live and also doing it all on the screen as we are live. Even though this is going in the future, but I am recording this live. I'm not <laughs> doing lots of takes of saying hello and introducing the live stream. Probably would be quite good if I did that because then I could get the patron roster going properly from the beginning. But anyway, yes, thank you guys over on Patreon for suggesting to open with Art Not Commerce. And we've got a few suggestions for the cover video for tonight. So what I'll probably do is just jump on Patreon while I'm doing this and just read what's going on over there and answer any questions that might be there, but to pick out a cover song. In fact, what I'm going to do is head over there now. And I just did a post on Patreon asking people as normal, you know, what they want to hear on the live stream. And I can see that we got a lot of responses. So thank you guys for these. Having a little scroll down because, yeah, we started with Art Not Commerce. Actually, a lot of requests for lots of different songs because Tammy and Marilyn requested Art Not Commerce. We've got We Can Fall Down in there from Teresa. We've got uh, Paris Nord from Constantia as well. Art Not Commerce again from D. So, yeah, I think we picked maybe the one that had the most requests, but I'm not sure. But looking for the covers, let's see what we've got in our list uh, Tammy says give me all your loving and that's one that we haven't heard in quite a while so we might jump into that uh, still haven't found what I'm looking for uh, and that's the name of the song by the way I'm not just saying that because I haven't found it yet and we have free falling iris uh, behind blue eyes Barbara give me all your loving as well so yeah lots of requests for covers so again thank you guys for making it easier for me to decide on what to play because I think we'll have a look at Give Me All Your Loving a little bit later on in the live stream. And the thing about not having the poll is that it means, yeah, I didn't check what had been requested because I haven't 
chosen it yet, I'm just doing it now. So I'm gonna have to try and find the button that starts <laughs> Give me all your loving and I have spotted it So I'm gonna to to remember that for later because we will jump into that a little bit later on so As to what else we're gonna be doing on this live stream. Let me jump over to patreon again I should have maybe made this a separate window on my computer so that I could read the patreon comments and Do the live stream stuff at the same time But I didn't think that far ahead because I am just treating this as live and it's just gonna be on YouTube when it's finished and I don't know how long it's gonna go on for we will see but my plan is to just do everything as normal uh, interact with you guys in the live chat room next to this video, but Maybe after the pick roulette we can have I know that a fill tune was requested So we'll probably have a look at one of those I don't know whether I'll be able to do a riff of the week We might just like bundle everything into this live stream premiere Maybe we could do the jam as well the I agree jam that happens at the end of the video We could have a go at that and I think there was a request for oblivion that I saw in the comments somewhere and It's Sam just having a quick look. I can see that Sam Requested oblivion Oh, and Lisa requested oblivion as well. So that's another cover video But I think that's okay because it's from a computer game that's really old and it's a bit obscure and I don't think it's Copyright blocked or claimed or anything like that because uh, it's me playing guitar as well of the theme So we might have a look at oblivion later on as a second cover video so I don't know what the likes are at the moment, but if you could hit that thumbs up It'd be much appreciated to get us closer to our pick roulette likes goal for a pick roulette next week And that's how it works on the live streams if this is your first Viewing of a live stream what happens is we go live on a Tuesday night and that's 12 midnight Greenwich Mean Time and we go live on a Saturday night at exactly the same time and looking into the future we have a Christmas Eve live stream that we're going to be doing and a New Year's Eve live stream as well And we've done those over the last couple of years. So if you are interested in joining us and Everybody here that gets involved in the live streams then you can jump in to the live chat rooms on Yeah, Christmas Eve New Year's Eve and because I'm in the UK I think if you're in other countries obviously you have to figure out the time zones But I think generally I'm ahead of the USA for example So if you are over in the USA, I know that we do get quite a few viewers from over there if you are over there then maybe my Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve will be earlier in your evening So you could maybe have two of them if you tune in to the live stream So yeah, that's something for later on in the year. I say later on in the year It's like what six weeks or something. I can't believe how quickly the years go I mean not months or, or weeks literally the years are going quickly now, but it has been a great year it's been a very productive one and you know the subscriber count is just getting ridiculous, but as I've said before, we will keep on pushing forward and see where we end up. And yeah, it's all going in the right direction. So yeah, maybe join me for those later on in the year, in like six weeks. But if you want to join in for any of the other live streams, then the other live streams happen on Tuesday, Saturdays. And we have the pick roulette wheel when we hit the target for that likes goal. So. Then you can get your name on the wheel, you can win a signed Wings of Pegasus pick, you can win a t-shirt as well if we land on the t-shirt on that pick roulette wheel. Quick shout out to the Wings of Pegasus website, which I don't really mention a lot either, apart from when I do say about the merchandise, because you've got Carla's merchandise over at wingsofpegasus.com, and those are the necklaces, more of the... Uh, earrings, yeah, and your know, guitar picks as well. If you do play guitar, you can get your hands on some Wings of Pegasus picks over there. But yeah, it's more of a kind of accessory side of things over there if you're into accessories. And you've got the spring.com store for the clothing. So <laughs> it's really tempting to say, let's see where we are <laughs> with our likes goal, but we don't know. But I will be keeping an eye on it. I, you know. You have to trust me that I will be keeping an eye on it because I will be <laughs> in that live chat room. So 
without thinking about the vote, I mean, we're about, what, 20 past? Let me look at the time. It's going to be about 20 past midnight. In fact, 21 minutes past midnight. As I say that, we are going to be jumping into probably the cover video purely because... I don't want to forget where the button is because there are so many buttons for when I do these live streams that if I lose track of it, I'll never find it again. So we're going to be jumping into this. And again, thank you guys for requesting lots of different covers over on Patreon. It's going to be my version, of course, of uh, Give Me All Your Loving. And <laughs> I don't know why, but whenever I say that, I have this uh, flashback to McLovin uh, from that movie. And is it super bad? Maybe something like that. And that was on TV maybe a few weeks ago. That's why I'm thinking of it. But yeah, give me all your loving because it's uh, loving with an apostrophe at the end. I believe that's the name of the song and that's how it's written as the song title. So yeah, I always think of that or at least I did think of that now. But I don't usually think of that. Anyway, let's jump into it. This is my version of that particular song, uh, the ZZ Top Classic. Of course, I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you guys in a minute. Rock! Hello, Phil here. Thank you so much for watching my cover of ZZ Top's classic, 
Give me all your loving. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The names that you can see going up the screen here are the names of my patrons who I'd like to say a massive thank you to for their support and for making videos like this possible in the first place and also making my analysis videos possible as well. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if I don't see you at the next analysis video, I'll see you guys at the next cover video. Rock! And there we have it. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. And again, a big shout out to you guys over on Patreon for requesting that among others. I don't know whether you noticed, but on the donations tab, I've just quickly typed in because I can't mention if any donations do happen, you don't have to donate, but just in case any do happen, I will mention them on Saturday night's live stream. So that'll be uh, this Saturday, and it's going to be 12 midnight, Greenwich Mean Time, as I've already mentioned. So yeah, if they do happen, don't worry, I will get through them. I do mention all of the donations at the live streams, no matter when they happen. So yeah, don't worry about that. You can look out for that on Saturday. So we will probably jump into the pick roulette as well and i know that we're just coming up to what about half past midnight at the moment so we've got uh, the pick roulette that we can get through i know on the last video that i just uploaded as a premiere maybe i did some guitar i think maybe we had some guitar questions but uh, i will jump over to patreon to see uh, what we've got in there because I did notice that Fran wrote something uh, or had a question so let me just have a read of that oh this is where the oblivion theme was mentioned as well uh, so yeah thank you for requesting that and oh Fran says I'd very much like to learn more about how you put the videos together both the ones where you're playing in front of the green screen wall and those with the evocative imagery and typography uh, so thank you uh, for that question Fran and I mean with the uh, green screen videos uh, that's just literally a case of moving everything out of the way of the green screen and then standing in front of it and you know getting the lighting the important part is that you have to light the green wall as I have but it's called a green screen as well you light the green screen and then you have to light yourself independently so it means that you've got to be quite far in front of the screen and I think I think it's something like six foot or I don't know a lot about how f exactly how far you have to go but I think it's around six foot you have to try and stop your shadow from going on the green screen because uh, then when it comes to editing it's harder for the computer to get a good key and it's called chroma key all these kind of fancy terms but when you've got different shades of green it makes it more difficult for the computer to eliminate that shade and lots of shades of green if it's just one shade of green the computer understands that as just one color so when you say to the computer remove this color and you just click on it it'll remove all of that green and the reason that it's bright green is because people rarely wear bright green clothing and this is why sometimes when you see uh, weather people on the outtakes where the weather person has worn a green shirt or a green jacket that part of them disappears because it's the, obviously the same color as the green screen behind them so uh, you can have a blue screen as well and a lot of movies use blue screens but it's the same principle you know having a, a bright blue color and I think technically you could use red as well but I think there it's, it's too similar to uh, you know skin tones that could be slightly red and then you know it's difficult to yeah make that distinction uh, between the you know skin for the computer to know what's skin and what's the you know the red screen so this is why it's blue and green because those are the uh, the most you know used and brightest colors I guess you can make a quite bright blue and quite a bright green there's something in the back of my mind that is trying to tell me about a Superman movie the way that the S on 
Superman's chest. Oh no, it was the blue. This is what they did. Okay, I had a bit of trivia in my head and <laughs> I didn't even know that I knew it because uh, it was something that was just um, trying to go to the forefront of my mind. In the old Superman movies, uh, Superman was actually wearing a turquoise suit, but it it's, it's blue, but it wasn't actually blue when he was wearing it because they used a blue screen. So it means that he disappeared when they were trying to film it. And um, yeah, this is the, you know, going back in the day, uh, Christopher Reeve, I think, that uh, was a Superman or Christ Christopher Reeves. He might, he might have had an S on the end of his name. Anyway, I can't remember, but uh, yeah, the, the old school uh, movies. And yeah, they had to make a green, a, a a kind of turquoise version of the Superman outfit so that it didn't disappear with the blue screen. Anyway, bit of trivia for you. I don't know why. Well, I guess it is relevant to what I'm saying about the green screen. So anyway, yeah, doing that, uh, set up everything, get the lighting on me, get the lighting on the green screen, record it. And uh, in the studio, I just used one camera. So it meant that I did one angle and then did the song again from another angle, did the song again from another angle, did the song again looking at the guitar, did the song again uh, maybe looking at the guitar from a different angle, did the song again looking at the bass. <laughs> so there were lots of takes uh, with one camera, so I had to go through you know, the same song kind of, yeah, six or seven or eight times. If there were backing vocals, I then had to you know film myself doing those and a separate take. So uh, this is why when people say, oh, why didn't you record yourself playing the drums? It's because by the time I've done all of the other stuff, the thought of getting the drums in front of the green screen and then the problem with the drums is because they're low down, you can't set the camera up low enough to cut out the floor and all the other stuff um, because that will just look like it's a floating floor. So yeah, by, by that time, once I've done all of those shots, I just want to load it onto the computer and you know either get into the editing or have something to eat <laughs> and then get into the editing so yeah with the green screen ones you know that's okay it's you know it takes quite a long time but when you're then doing things on location and i'm trying to think i can only remember the broken wings video that i did in brazil where i was on location, but just having something slightly different. Uh, that's where you yeah, have to then do the scenes and it just, it wasn't really scenes, it's just me sitting around, <laughs> just, uh, you know, playing a few chords on the guitar and, you know, singing the lyrics. So yeah, it didn't take that much planning because I was just walking around. So yeah, that was, yeah, without any green screen actually tell a lie and this is a bit of an exclusive because on that video I did do some green screen stuff because I didn't have any close-ups of the guitar so what I did was do the green screen shots afterwards so when I was back home I then got out the guitar got in front of the green screen and then used the video footage that I had got there to put it in the background just to tie it all in so hopefully it isn't too noticeable noticeable as to what is green screen and what is me actually there uh, hopefully I got away with it but there you go you can maybe try and look out for that and see which you know, just ruined the video for you but you can try and see yeah which parts are green screened and which parts aren't but anyway uh thank you for that Fran hopefully that answers that question and oh we had another one Hotel California that was another one that was green screen but I did that with some backing footage that I just saw on YouTube and I was thinking of the video, how I wanted to piece it together and thinking oh, it'll be cool to, you know, just look into either a desert or look into something that was, you know, not populated, you know, yeah, maybe just have a tree or, you know, driving down a road and all that kind of stuff. So I saw this person's footage on YouTube and I said, oh, I'm doing a cover of Hotel California. Can I use your footage, please? And uh, they said, yeah, go for it. Because it was just their holiday, I think. It was just them kind of panning around, having a look at, uh, you know, the desert and just filming their journey. So yeah, I took that footage and did the green screen so that I was now standing in front of that. And I put some smoke on there as well. That's another green screen effect that 
it's just smoke and it has a green screen behind it. So when you remove and key out the green, you're just left with the smoke. So I put that on that video as well. So anyway, thank you Fran for that question or that uh, question of two parts. I hope that uh, that kind of answered it for you. Right. What we're going to be doing is jumping into tonight's pick roulette. And I know that we are a little bit of ahead of schedule, maybe, what's the time, 35 minutes past midnight, so, yeah, maybe ooh, 10, 15 minutes, maybe even more than that ahead of schedule, but we will try and squeeze in more stuff at the end of the live stream, maybe, <laughs> I don't know whether I could do a jam at the end that literally goes until the end of the jam track uh, that I load up. So uh, we will see. If we pick a long one, it could go on for about half an hour. It won't be half an hour, uh, but maybe it will go on for a little bit longer. But what we'll do is we will jump into tonight's pick roulette. By the way, if you get it, that thumbs up would be much appreciated to get ourselves to the goal of 320. That's what we're aiming for. And as soon as we hit that target, then the entries for the pick roulette will open. But I'm just wondering if, oh, it doesn't really matter if we go into the pick roulette because the live chat room isn't on screen. It's going to be next to the screen. So you can be typing it in there while I'm doing the pick roulette. So we will jump into this and I will pick a top tip when the wheel appears. So I'll see you guys in a second. Rock. So let's get the wheel up on screen and again a huge thanks to Carla for organising this a little bit earlier than normal. Right, if this is your first pick roulette, you can see on the screen we have lots of names. If we land on one of those then that person will win the signed Wings of Pegasus pick in the middle of the wheel. If we land on the darker segments here then we have a t-shirt roulette and that's where somebody can go away with a signed Wings of Pegasus t-shirt. So oh, let me have a look on the wheel and pick somebody at random. Okay Donna is going to be our top tip for tonight. Donna Cole, I'm just writing Donna's name down so I don't forget it. Right, and apologies uh, Donna for that because as you guys will know if you watch live streams regularly on this channel, I have a 0% winning chance and streak. I'm on a, on a streak of zero of picking the winners. So we're going to give the wheel a spin and we're going to see who's going to win. As I always say, you have to be in it to win it, so make sure that you're in the live chat room now. <laughs> if you're not in the live chat room now, then you won't know that you're not, so I don't know why I'm saying that. But you have to be in there in order to give Carla all of the details that she needs to get the Wings of Pegasus pick sent off to you. So we are slowing down, and where are we going to stop? I'll tell you what, Donna, we were pretty close. But here we go. This is, is it Sean? And it is Sean. I couldn't quite see. It looked like it was right on the line, but it's just edged over into Sean's segment. So congratulations to you, Sean. And if you can let yourself be known to Carla in the live chat room, that would be much appreciated. And commiserations to everybody else who didn't win tonight. And to Donna as well. Uh, apologies for <laughs> choosing you as the top tip. But, you know, it was a little bit closer than normal tonight. But, yeah, again, uh, close but no cigar. Anyway, if you guys want to double your chances of winning, make sure that you tune in on Saturday's uh, live stream as well as Tuesdays because then we always have the pick roulette whenever we hit the pick roulette likes goal for the previous week's live stream. That's how it works. We always do it next week. So if we hit the target tonight, it means that we're going to ha be having the pick roulette next week. So look at that likeometer on your screen. See what it is at. We're aiming for 320. And if we are at 320 or if we're not, if we're not, then maybe we can spike the likes if we are, uh, which would be amazing because it's only 20 to 1. So only 40 minutes into the stream. But if we are, then you 
can then type I agree, tag Carla in your comments in order to get your name on next week's pick roulette wheel. So let's get rid of that and hopefully we're back to me on screen, which we are. And what were the things that we were going to do? We're going to look at the Oblivion cover as well. Now this is one that I have just seen, <laughs> so that's good. I thought I was going to be searching for about 10 minutes to try and find the Oblivion cover, but we will jump into this. And again, thank you guys over on Patreon for requesting Oblivion. This is a computer game that I used to play years ago. And I mean, not when I was a kid, I think I was probably in my early 20s when I got uh, PlayStation 3, I believe. And yeah, this was the first game that I bought on that PlayStation 3 because I wasn't sure about buying a PlayStation 3. I really wanted one, but you know, it was a lot of money. Uh, but I saw this game, Oblivion, and on the review it said, this game is worth you know, buying a PS3 for. So I thought, well, that's all the motivation I need. So I bought a PS3 with Oblivion, this game, and then I, yeah, spent most of my life playing it. But yeah, I did enjoy it very much. And this is me playing the Oblivion theme. So I hope you guys enjoy this and I'll see you after rock. And there we have it. And I tried to cut off the video there before then saying, because there's a bit at the end of the video, I think it was actually on that previous cover where I go through in the names of my patrons and all that kind of stuff. But we've already yeah, had one of those at the end of the previous video, but I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I couldn't hear that. And this is something about doing the live stream in this way as a premiere. It's a slightly different setup, so it means that I can't hear the videos when they're playing, so I tried to cut that off, hoping that it had finished. <laughs> so yeah, I was trying to see the screen and time it. So hopefully you did manage to hear all of that and hear the ending as well. So that was, yeah, the Oblivion cover. We, I don't know whether we should have a Riff of the Week as well, whether we could, oh, Riff of the Week, Fill Tune, and the I Agree Jam. So technically, we've still got three things that we can do. <laughs> I was gonna say, what I'm gonna jump into is the Riff of the Week, but I'm not gonna do that because I know that I haven't actually set it up yet. So I need to sort out my screen grabbing software or at least get the screen grab ready so that we can have the video up on screen and because I'm not going to be able to look at the live chat room, we're going to just have the riff and 
I will be in the live chat room. At least I'm aiming to be in the live chat room. So, uh, fingers crossed, I am in there, which means I can hit the thumbs up myself. So, <laughs> if there are 319 likes, I can give the extra thumbs up and, uh, yeah, ensure that Pick Roulette likes goal is achieved for this live stream premiere. But, yeah, so... I'm going to jump into, I think, a cartoon while I set up the Riff of the Week. And we'll jump into that after we've looked at the Phil Toon. We're going to go for an old school one because, yeah, I think the, the new ones, they've changed the design of them, as you guys will know, with the most recent Phil Toon that I made, the Real Life Stories. The characters there, because it's now gone in more of a serious business kind of direction with the software and they've changed their name and they've taken out all of the cartoony type characters for more serious looking ones but after doing the new Phil Toon I feel like the other characters just looked better or I preferred them so I mean I'm not saying that I'm going to do this but I might do this even though it's going to take a hell of a lot of work I might try and extract the characters from the old Phil Toons and put them in or over the top of the new software and kind of replace the characters and it's going to be really complicated because it means that I'm going to have to cut out every frame manually of the real life stories so say for my character for one frame you have 30 frames in a second for each frame I'm going to have to go and cut around the character and if they move a little bit, I then have to do another cut and do that 30 times each second. So it might take quite a long time, but if I have the characters cut out like that, it means that I'll be able to do the real life stories if I do any more in the future, and then use the old characters and kind of manipulate them in the way that I want to and then get them to move the way I want to as well. So I might do that. And I've been thinking about doing that, but it's just having the amount of time required to go around and you know cut each character because I'd want it to look like it is still the characters and it looks exactly like the previous animations I don't want it to look like I've just you know hacked away at it and just copied and pasted and the edges are all wrong and all that kind of stuff so yeah I might do that in the future so what we're going to be doing is having a look at one of the old Phil Toons. there are four old ones and the one new one and we are going to have a look at, let's pick the library real life story. We'll jump into that and I'll see you guys after and I'll set up the screen grab while this is going. So I'll catch you guys in a second. Rock! <laughs> Guys, I'm so excited, I have just managed to get us an awesome gig. Well, I do hope our definition of awesome coincide. Well, I know. A guy, who works at a pub and he said we can play there. This Friday night. You know a guy. So far, to be honest, I'm on the fence about this gig. Persuade me. Where is the venue, will I have heard of it? The pub is called the, Golden Gaff. It is in Surrey. My friend has told me it will be amazing. We need this gig. Well, it certainly sounds like a reputable joint. It's about an hour's drive, but I'm going to trust you on this. Let's book the gig. We won't regret it. The place will be packed. I can't wait. Wowzers, this pub really looks like a library. Hello there. Do you work here? Yes, I do. Um, yes, we do need help. Thanks for asking. We are the band who are playing here this evening. What is the plan? Are you sure there is light music tonight? Well, I ruddy hope so. If not, my bandmate has yet again stitched me up as well as himself. So, who is in charge? I am the only person working here tonight. Well, at least we know, therefore it will not be busy tonight. Great. Where is the stage and we'll start to set up? Well, whenever someone has played an acoustic guitar, they have been sitting here, so you can play in this area. Oh my... 
Guff heck of frig. You may actually notice there are tables and sofas in the way, not to mention just being a woeful position for music. I'm afraid you'll have to move the table and sofas out of the way then. Well, as I'm a musician and I want to play, I will do this manual labor in addition to the hour's drive. I also assume we are not getting paid for this gig. That is correct. At least you're holding up your end of the bargain. Well, let's get to work guys. These sofas look like the heaviest sofas we will ever lift in our lives. I'll leave you to it and I'll make sure that if you need anything, I will be impossible to find. Many thanks for following standard protocol. Great job guys. It only took an hour and I think I've got a hernia. But I'm sure it will all be totally worth it and not a gig, we should have declined. Just the person I was looking for. So, where is the PA? Is it quite heavy to lift? And also how many channels does your mixer have? We don't have a PA here. Ha 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 ha. That was a fantastically great joke. Wasn't it? Or should I say, it better have been. No, what you see is what we have. That I'm afraid is sweet guffall. Well, what do you usually do on live music nights then? Jacob usually does all the band stuff. He's not here today, but I have his number if you want to talk to him. That might be an idea. At least every last detail of this gig has been meticulously planned by the venue. Otherwise we could all look like absolute total amateurs. Hello Jacob, I'm Phil from the band that are playing at your pub tonight. Where is the PA? And the mixer? For the gig? Okay, so it's in your car. And you are in your car at the moment. And you're five hours drive away. Do you think this may be an issue? Considering we're playing in 45 minutes, you didn't realize what the time was? Oh well that is a very acceptable excuse. I mean, how could anyone ever have foreseen these unlikely turn of events? Unbelievable. So here is the situation. The PA is 5 hours away. We have 45 minutes until we start. So this venue has quite truly rogered our collective bums in the guff. Oh dear. I can't help feeling partially responsible for us being in this position. Yes. I wonder why that is. Just so you know, your friends and family are also just starting to arrive. They must have made the hour-long drive to support you. Oh. Great. Well, as ridiculous as this sounds, I have purchased my own PA, so that if a music venue is retarded enough to not have any equipment, I have everything. It just so happens it's in my sister's boyfriend's van, who should be here shortly. So, it seems that you as a collective venue won't have egg on your face. You jammy dodgers. I don't understand. Oh, just that to the innocent onlooker, you'll look like you have a great PA system and are a great live music venue, when in fact you are actually a total load of rubbish guff venue. With no idea, and couldn't organize a piss up in a brewery, present location accepted. No offense. None taken. You. Are seriously mentally vacant. I'm going to slag off this pub to my family now. Bye. And there we have it. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. And I think I've managed to just about set up this screen capture. Well, I haven't actually set it up, but I've got everything set up as I normally do. And what we're going to be doing is having a look at Riff of the Week number 20. So I don't know what this is, and I'm not going to say what it is because it's for you guys to try and guess in the live chat room, and maybe for me to try and guess as well if I can remember what it is. And there is an advert with this, so let me skip over that, and hopefully you guys don't listen or you don't hear that advert. I do not know. Right, I'm just going to let this play and oh, let me actually do the screen capture so you guys can see it. Not that you really need to see it, but 
It's always interesting to see myself from many years ago to see whether I've got a cap on or what's going on because, yeah, I just picked up a guitar and did these. So let's have a look at Riff of the Week number 20. And we just want the name of the song that the riff comes from. You can name the band as well if you want to. But we'll have a listen. I just remembered that I won't be able to hear it because it's all working a different way for tonight. So maybe I'll be able to spot it on the guitar and be able to tell from there. But let's have a listen. And there we have it. And for some reason, that did come through the speakers. So, <laughs> everybody has got to be getting this. I'm sure in that live chat room, everybody is typing out the correct answer. I did say that I wouldn't mention what it was because we didn't know what it was going to be, but it just so happened you know, there were 100 riffs to choose. I chose number 20 and that's what it was. So, yeah, congratulations if you know <laughs> what song that was and if you know which band did it as well. So uh, that was tonight's Riff of the Week. Right, I don't know whether we've hit our pick roulette lights goal. Maybe we have, maybe we haven't. But if you can hit that thumbs up, it'd be massively appreciated to get us closer to the target or to get us a little bit beyond the target if we're already there. So what we'll do is, I can see that we're just approaching 1 a.m. So we've got a few minutes left. Now, a few minutes, actually got, what, 15 minutes, 17, 18 minutes. So what we'll do is, we'll have the I Agree Jam. If we have hit the target, make sure that you tag Carla Murray's name in your comment and type I Agree and just copy what everybody else either have already done or are about to do in the future if we are close to that. If we're not, keep on hitting that thumbs up and I will do that myself if I'm in that live chat room. So what I'm going to do is head over to uh, YouTube over here and when I do the backing tracks, I try and find one that, you know, is okay obviously to play along with. I think the last one we did yeah, was one that I did pay for uh, because they do ask that you pay for it and just mention that you're using it if you are going to use it on your YouTube channel. So that's exactly what I did. But we will have a look here and see what we can see. So uh, guitar jam tracks. We're going to have a scroll down. We'll go down a little bit further down in the list and we'll have a look at a uh, classic psychedelic funk jam okay so i mean this is going to be a little bit different hopefully the other ones that we've had have been kind of i think more bluesy based or slower in tempo so i don't know what speed this is going to be maybe it's going to be a little bit more you know, upbeat who knows but this is from now you shred and i think i'm just having a little look in the description because yeah it says about you know you know Good luck and thanks for checking it out. And I think it says that, that it might be from an app. In our app, Alpha Jams, currently in beta uh, or beta, uh, you will be able to control which layer you see. Okay, so I think this is an example of an app that they have, uh, Alpha Jams. And this is from Now You Shred. So I'm going to have to move my chair back to actually give a little bit of space for the guitar. Grab the guitar. Now, as for... The mix, this is something that, because I'm doing it differently tonight anyway, it's um, quite difficult to judge. But I think even in other live streams, it's really difficult to get the levels because the backing tracks, because I haven't been through them and checked the levels and got them the same as what I'm doing, I've just got to try and guesstimate from what I can see on the screen from when I play my guitar, if we're... <coughs> We're in quite a dirty tone tonight, but I'm going to keep it like that because we haven't been very aggressive <laughs> in the other jams that we've done. But yeah, so I'm just having to try and balance it from... Let me get the backing track going and actually see if it registers. Now 
Now I don't know if this is going to echo. I might have to turn off the monitor. Let me check. In G minor, a little bit of a key change here. It's actually interesting on screen, they're showing you all of the notes that you can play and this must be the app, kind of how it works, but we're not really worrying about modes or scales here, we're just kind of playing the notes, uh, we're singing as we go along. dynamically And if we have hit the pick roulette likes goal, type I agree and tag Carla Murray in your comment. And we'll just keep on going with this. I 
how long this goes on for. <laughs> I don't even know where my mouse has gone. Wow, <laughs> this goes on for 14 minutes and we're five minutes in. So, uh, I don't know how long it'll go on for, we'll keep going. For time, it's almost 10 past one in the morning, and this has still got what four or five minutes left in the backing track, so we'll see what we can do with it.
hopefully we've hit the <laughs> pig roulette lights goal by now. It's certainly been enough time. Uh, let's see how long we've got left. Still a couple of minutes, so we'll keep on going. <laughs> That's the end of the 14 minute backing track. And yeah, towards the end there, I wasn't sure whether it was going to end or not. So <laughs> I had to take a bit of a gamble with it finishing. But anyway, thank you guys, longest jam ever. Thank you guys for tuning in to tonight's uh, live stream premiere. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it and uh, that hopefully we've hit that pick roulette lights goal. If we have, we're going to have a pick roulette next week. But I will see you guys at tomorrow night's video and a video on Friday. I'll be live again on Saturday night. So hopefully you guys can join me then. I hope that you have a fantastic rest of the week. As I always say, stay as safe and as sane as possible in this crazy world in which we live in. But I'll catch you guys at the next one. Rock! <laughs>